Linda Irvin, 254 George Avenue, Roxbury. Uh, I was wondering if I might uh, ask City Council and the Mayor to um, better uh, monitor and enforce the ordinance. Uh, I think it's uh, Section 103 regarding sofas, living room sofas, living room chairs, vehicle car seats, uh, being used on front porches, back porches in the city as outdoor furniture. I have been uh, calling uh, Leon Schuster with the addresses of houses that I do find in the city as I'm traveling around. Uh, also, mattresses are being thrown on the sides of homes. They're being stored on porches. As you well know, we have a uh, infestation in our city of bed bugs and cockroaches in certain buildings. We also have the issue of serious uh, fire hazards in terms of fabric and leather indoor furniture being stored on porches. So I'm asking council if they will please uh, talk to their um, prospective uh, uh, residents within their district somehow, I don't know how to do it, or if the mayor would please uh, ask his police, fire, and health inspectors to notify the people. According to the ordinance, once a person's been notified of a porch uh, sofa being used as outdoor patio furniture, they have five days to remove it. So I'm asking that you'll enforce it. Case in point, in Parsons on Mill Street, there was a couch outside on the curb for two weeks. And uh, I don't have to tell you what condition that was in. But the city um, health inspector did address the situation. And I'm asking, again, that you enforce it. We also have the issue where some citizens are wondering if you'll reinstitute the clutter cleanup especially for fabric furniture, knowing the, um, you know, situation with uh, uh, vermin and bugs not wanted in our homes, obviously. Uh, the other issue I have is that I understand that there's going to be a League of Cities uh, junket planned for November. And I'm just wondering what council members are attending. It is scheduled for Boston in November. And I'm wondering what this is going to cost the taxpayers of Wilkes-Barre for transportation and accommodations, as well as meals. And um, if you are aware of the fact that we now have video conferencing, where you do not have to travel anymore to go to conferences, you can actually sit in your office during a video uh, two-way conference as opposed to spending taxpayer money traveling all over the uh, country for <coughs> these uh, League of Cities meetings. And at this time in the city, as you're looking for money, I would think that this is not a necessary expenditure. It uh, seems like it's becoming um, a vacation time in a, a time when it's not necessary. Thank you. Thank you.